Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. I hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, we thank you for saving our soul. Father God, we ask you today as we take in this word that we are able to hear you speak to us, that we are able to change the way we do things. Father God, we give you our life. We ask you to forgive us of the sins we've done, Father God. And Father God, we ask you to bless the ones that are hearing it and bless the ones that are reading it in Jesus' name. The verse of the day is 2 Corinthians 3 and 3. You show that you are a letter, you are a letter from Christ, the results of our ministry written not with ink, but the spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but tablets of human hearts subject is not any ink on my heart christian truth so i'm gonna say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if, if you like i'm allowing christ to write on my heart i am walking in christ i am a believer i am holy i can scream from the rooftop that i'm saved and filled with the holy spirit i can get a tattoo that says i'm changed i can put a bumper sticker on my car so when i pass different people they can see who i am I can write it on paper too. I can have an airplane attached a streamer that says Lou is saved and fly through the city. I can do all that, but does it mean that what is on the inside is Christ? Does it show in my actions? When I speak to different people, can they tell I that tell I am different and I'm filled with Christ? Last week we talked about fruit we bear. And a lot of times, some of us don't know what we bear. We don't care to change. We're okay with living the way we do. We're okay with being lukewarm. And some of us are like, hey, buddy, at least I made it to church. And at least I'm reading my word. But if people were asked who you were and what you were about, what would they say? Would they say, oh, no, not her. She's not saved. Or would they say, oh, okay, didn't know, didn't think she was. What, what, they, what would they say? Exodus 24 and 12, the Lord said to Moses, come up to me on the mountain and be there, and I will give you tablets of stone and law and commandments, which I have written that you may teach them. What this verse is saying is that we should have the Holy Spirit down deep inside of us. The laws and the words of God should be on the inside of us. But some of us aren't sure. We see that Moses had to come up to God to get the commandments, to get what he need. Do we go to God to get what we need? Do we come to him to change our heart? We can quote verse by verse, shout and scream, sing with the choir, lead Sunday school classes, be on the Ursha board, pass out devotions, and teach a few lessons here and there. But do we have the Holy Spirit down deep? Moses wrote the commandments on a tablet and he handed them out. And, and these were what we were supposed to follow. But when Jesus came, he died for our sins. He showed us, no, no, this is the way. This is okay, but I need you to be baptized by fire. And a lot of us don't understand that it must be on the inside, not years of service to the Lord, not our title, but it must be written on the heart. Ezekiel eleven nineteen says this, and I will give them one heart and a new spirit. I will put within them. I will remove the heart of stone from the flesh and give them a heart of flesh. When we allow the Holy Spirit in, we change from this one heart to the next. We change from this heart of stone to this heart of flesh. Why? Because we become truly alive in Christ. We become these different people because we are no longer living with just words, but we are living with the ink on our heart. We are living in our identity in Christ. Jeremiah 31, 33, for this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, clear the Lord, I will put my law within them and write it on their hearts and I will be their God and they will be my people. This verse is confirmation. This is what Christ did when he died for us. He made the law written on our heart. And we put the law on the inside because the Holy Spirit is the truth in the life. And when we walk in the light, we are walking in the truth of God. So we're no longer just walking wherever we think or whatever the world is saying is okay to walk in. Still, we are walking in victory because Christ died for us. And we are then living in the truth of God. God wants us to lean on him and not on ourselves. That's why the law was put away, because we had to lean, lean on our righteousness and our excellent deeds. And God said, no more. They will lean on me, and I will send my son to be the sacrifice for them. And he, he will be the ultimate sacrifice. With God doing this, I won't have to run around screaming, I am this, or I, I do this, or I do that. All I have to do, all you have to do is walk into the room, and people will see him through our ways and presence. Because it's written in you and me. What fruits are you bearing? What are you showing the world? 
What are you allowing God to change? Whatever we do, our heart needs to be written on by God. Today, we learned that God sent his son to this world to be our savior and to mold us, to write on our heart. And the more he writes on our heart, the more we become different and change. And a lot of times we are changing because we are doing everything ourselves. We aren't changing because we're doing everything ourselves. The heart of flesh only comes by submitting. And a lot of people don't want to submit. Submitting is laying our wants and desires to the side and saying, okay, God, wherever your will is, I do it. When Jesus had the disciples to follow him, he taught them. He, 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 should, he showed them the way. He showed it in his way, how he healed people, and how he reacted. When people see who, when someone sees someone who's aggressive and they see someone ready to go for eye for an eye, they don't identify them as Christ. Like, no, not at all. But when people see someone speaking peace, they see Christ in them and they connect Christ with them. How we love one another shows God abides in us. It shows it in his word. And what comes from the heart will flow. Just listen to some people sometimes and ask the Holy Spirit for discernment. He will show you who they are. We must listen to the Holy Spirit and be guided. That's how we listen to the counseling of God, by listening. Let the Holy Spirit change your heart today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for everything. We ask you to forgive us of the sins we have done. And Lord, we ask you to help us hear you, submit to you. Lord, we desire to change and be better. Lord, we desire to walk in your your precepts and not ours. Lord, we surrender to you and ask you to help us to be an image bearer, not people who pretend to be Lord. But we, we give you praise, glory, and honor today. Lord, we thank you for everything, the protection and the infinite love you have shown us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Reference Ezekiel eleven nineteen, and I will give them one heart and a new spirit. I will put in them, I will remove the heart of stone from their flesh and give them a heart of flesh. Hebrews 10 and 16, this is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, clears the Lord. I will put my laws on their heart and write them on their minds. Hebrews 10, 16. Hebrews 9 and 14. How much more would the blood of Christ who who through the eternal spirit offer himself without blemish to God, purify our counselor from dead works to serve the living God. Further reading, Proverbs 21, Genesis 15, Psalms 89, and Colossians 2. This ends, it's not any ink on my heart. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow on any platform. Remember to share with a family member or friend. If you can, Please share on social media. Thank you. Be blessed.